Hello, welcome to this week's Monday Morning Style Session. A little bit of a different format this week because this video is actually pre-recorded. I'm on a plane headed back from Colorado, back home to Florida, and I did not want to miss a Monday Morning Style Session, so I decided to record this on a topic that I get asked a lot of questions about, and it's compliments. This comes up a lot in my private Facebook group, and I know it's something that can really be perplexing, honestly, at any age, and so I wanted to, to share my take on compliments and how to take a compliment over 50 how to give a compliment how to how to be gracious in complimenting and just all the etiquette the art and the science behind it so welcome I um, hope that you enjoy this format and generally these are live but just pretend this is live go ahead and comment and I will definitely answer your comments when I land back home so let's talk about giving compliments and taking compliments first and I feel very strongly about this confident women compliment women so confident people are the ones that give compliments People who lack confidence don't generally give compliments. So if you want to be seen as being com confident and being charismatic and being kind, um, decide now that you're going to be more complimentary of other people. And truly, you want to to do this and, and do this across the board, whether or not you feel like the person needs a compliment. Like you might see someone and you might feel like, oh, that person seems so confident. I don't think they need to hear from me how cute their dress is. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. You never know what someone's going through. And a compliment, a well-timed um, or well-worded compliment always, always makes someone's day. So just having this conversation yesterday with my daughter and she has made it a personal policy that when she sees something that needs complimenting or that deserves to be complimented, she doesn't hesitate she just gives them a compliment and and truly it doesn't matter who you're complimenting almost everybody is going to receive it well and if they don't that's on them not on you you did your part so really confident women compliment women so maybe make it a personal policy to always give a compliment when you when you see something that's worth complimenting on okay next I want to talk about how to receive compliments and it's really how to graciously receive compliments. So how do we graciously receive compliments? We, we, we do that by saying thank you. And often we can be like, oh, I don't know about this. I don't think it looks that good on me. I am not, I'm not so sure. I kind of was nervous about, you know, and, and what you're doing is you're kind of talking the person out of the compliment. And you're also telling them that maybe, maybe their compliment wasn't that accurate because, you know, they complimented you on something that wasn't all that great to begin with, right? And of course, that's not what we're intending to do. We're intending to be modest or maybe we really were floored by the compliment and really we're questioning our choices and, and are, are just kind of voicing that out loud. Either way, really knowing how to graciously accept a compliment will mean that you'll have many more, many more compliments coming your way. So instead say, thank you. I love white or I really enjoy wearing dresses or I played with a different combination. I'm glad you liked it. And you know, if, if it feels sincere and if it feels like an, a natural thing to do in the moment, you can always find something nice to say about the other person as well. But really learning to graciously accept a compliment is an art and something I struggle with and I've struggled with my entire life like not talking people not saying this little thing oh my goodness oh, I, I can't believe you know just just learning to stop at thank you thank you so much that made my day that made me really happy thank you thank you like that's all you need to say and um, many of us me included could use a little practice in that okay so the next thing I want to talk about is how why people will sometimes compliment us on things even when we're not feeling those things so um, for example in my private Facebook group, often women will share pictures of outfits and they get feedback. And many times that feedback is really positive and it might be something that they're on the fence about or they're questioning. And so you wanna find out what is at the heart of the compliment that the person is giving you. If they're genuinely giving you feedback about an outfit, you wanna know what is it that they like about the outfit. Often they're responding to the overall look or the confidence. So if you're posting a picture and you look joyful in your outfit, you're gonna get a lot of positive feedback about the, the outfit and it's really based more on your energy and not on the outfit itself the reason I'm saying this is because it's important to be able to if you're really looking for helpful feedback and you're trying to improve your outfits and you're trying, trying to tweak your outfits it's important to know what the person is complimenting so you can know what's working and what's not working if that's the information you're looking for so for example a, a client of mine recently said there was a pair of shoes that I told her you know I just don't don't love those shoes we were going through her shoe wardrobe I don't love those shoes I feel like those shoes are dated and she had been wearing the shoes and she said I got a couple of compliments on them and I said well 
I, I, I know that you got compliments on them, but you may have gotten compliments on the fact that the, the, the color of the shoe was a statement color and that drew the eye and the person noticed the color and didn't look at the rest of the details on the shoe and said, oh, cool color, like cool shoe, right? Um, without really having that kind of, you know, insight into what works and what doesn't for you. So sometimes people are complimenting how you feel about an item, how you, your energy in the picture, they're complimenting how you how you look in the item or the color of the item and not really fine tuning their feedback and letting you know whether the item really works for your body and doesn't. So I think it's really important to, to take those types of compliments at face value and to say, thank you. Thank you. That made my day that you said something really, really nice. Enjoy the compliment, accept the compliment, but don't stop there when you're looking for feedback about your outfit. If you want real constructive feedback about your outfit, you want that feedback from somebody who's going to give you real insight into your outfit. So, oh my goodness, that dress is really, really cute on you. The white really works. It would be even cuter if it was a little bit shorter or a little bit longer, or have you tried um, styling it this way? Have you tried accessorizing it this way? Someone who's going to actually give you constructive feedback about the outfit. So there's a difference between a compliment, a face value compliment. You look nice in that. You look happy in that. Enjoy your day. And a, a more constructive feedback type of compliment. So so I always, as a personal stylist, my default is never, that's great. You look beautiful. You look great in that. Uh, because I want to give you insight and information that you can use to make future outfits cuter and future outfits better. And the only way that I can do that is to give you specific feedback on your outfits. So you want to recognize the difference between generalized, happy feedback and more specific, more constructive feedback. Um, and accept them both and take them both and enjoy them both because the constructive feedback is designed to make the next outfit better and the positive like overall general feedback is designed to make you enjoy, you know, enjoy that compliment and and, and make your day better. So they're both helpful. Um, one of the things that I do in my Facebook group is that I encourage women when they share a picture to use one of two hashtags. Hashtag inspiration is just I'm posting this picture because I like this outfit and I wanted to share it with you. I'm not looking for feedback. So hashtag inspiration is like no feedback needed. I just love this outfit and I wanted to share a picture. Hashtag feedback is I really like some feedback about this outfit. I want some constructive criticism or ways to improve it, room to tweak this outfit if you have that kind of feedback. So two very different types of feedback and two very different types of comments that you're going to get from that. Okay, so that's just a little rabbit hole that I wanted to share because I, I know that compliments can throw you off. And sometimes, for example, if you are wearing something and you know it's the wrong color, you know it's the wrong silhouette, and you get some compliments on it, they might be responding to your, your energy. They might be responding to your beauty. They might be responding to your kindness and other things that about your overall look and maybe not that specific thing that you are questioning. So that's, yeah, that's that. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is backhanded compliments, backhanded compliments. And we've all had them. One of the things that will happen, it will happen, I'm telling you now to prepare you. When you up-level your style, one of the things that will happen is that you will get the, 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 the naysayers. You'll get the people who are like, who does she think she is? None of us dress like that. None of us dress, like none of us dress like that to wherever, to the grocery store. Or what's she doing all dressed up? Or you know, like, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Like, who do you think you are? And you know, if whether whether you're at the office or at church or at the grocery store, you may find that you get feedback that is less than complimentary because people do not know what to do when someone is dressed outside of the norm for their area. And you have no, no explanation that you need to make for why you've chosen to dress the way that you've chosen to dress. You dress for yourself, not for your surroundings. You're dressing for yourself. So if you get that kind of feedback, just smile and move on. Just smile and move on. Often, often, I don't even acknowledge those with anything more than a smile and I change the subject. Don't make it a big deal. Don't make it a big deal. Because when someone is being unkind, the thing that they want the most is for it to bug you. And, and, and you just really don't want it to bug you. And truly, you know, and I'll share a little link to a reel that I did recently with um, an audio from Style Hard where it said, what Susie says about Sophie says more about Sophie than about Susie. 
No, so you know what I mean. But basically, when they, someone says something like that to you, it says a lot more about them than it does about you. So brush that off. Um, sometimes uh, what one of the women in my in my style program said, and I loved this answer, when someone says, well, oh, you're wearing a dress to Publix? Yeah, it needed an airing. I just needed to air it out. I just needed to wear it. I haven't worn it in a while. I just wanted to wear it. You know, like, whatever short sweet answer you can make and change the subject because people like that have there's a, truly that is coming from their own insecurity and has nothing to do with you in a, being inappropriately dressed for an occasion and when you are dressed up and the people around you are not dressed up people are only going to feel uncomfortable if you're uncomfortable people respond to your energy not your clothes they respond to what you're putting out there your confidence your joy how you feel and what you're wearing and not the actual outfit that you're wearing so if you walk in and you're relaxed and you're comfortable and you're confident and you're joyful that's what they're going to respond to at least the right people the people that are going to stand off to the side and say why is she wearing a dress to wherever those are people that, you know, with love, you can free those people from, from having an impact on your mood and on your day and on your opinion of yourself. So dress for yourself and the people around you who really care about you and who love you are going to respond to your energy, your mood, and your confidence and not to your outfit. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is how to address the kind of compliment that's not really a compliment. I get these, I get these sometimes on YouTube. Oh, don't you have a lot of hair? Isn't that lipstick bright? Yeah. I do have a lot of hair and yes, my lipstick is bright. And I know that those are not compliments because people don't compliment that way. And I'm, I'm not, you know, 12 years old. I can tell the difference between a compliment and a veiled insult, right? And we all can, and we've all heard them. Um, I may hear them more often than not because I'm putting myself out there, but that's totally fine. That's what I'm here for. But when you hear a compliment, like a comment like that, it's a backhanded compliment. Um, this is this is my strategy for dealing with backhanded compliments. I pretend that I am not seeing through them and that that's a genuine compliment. I'm like, thank you. Yes, my lipstick is bright. I love bright colors, don't you? Like, oh my gosh, yes, I do have a ton of hair. Um, thank you for noticing. Like, that's enough. That's enough. Um, you know, I, I recently saw someone on Instagram who had some really ugly comments in, in, in her comment section and she's a lovely person and she said her, her response was have the day you deserve and I'm like oh I would love to be able to say that but I don't I don't say that I haven't said it yet it may come out it may come out but she said have the day you deserve I was like ooh ooh that was that was pretty powerful but really when someone gives a backhanded compliment I just accept it as a regular compliment I, I say thank you uh, I accept the compliment graciously and I move on. Um, do, those people and people who speak like that to other people, again, it says a lot more about them than it does about you. So I hope that this was a little helpful kind of conversation about how to take a compliment over 50. Like let's be leaning and, and let's just start accepting compliments and expecting compliments. Like let's expect them everywhere we go. Let's dress um, in a way that makes us feel beautiful, like radiate our positive and confident energy and start waiting for the compliments to flood in and they will they will people respond to your confidence and they respond to your joy they're not even often looking at the details of your outfit so dress for yourself dress in a way that makes you joyful and then just put that out into the world and the the, the people who want to rain on your parade let them let them rain elsewhere and you just keep moving on and staying dry so love you guys i hope that this was helpful um i hope that you enjoyed this week's kind of short and sweet monday morning style session let's talk about compliments i want to know have you had any negative input growing up or over the course of your life i i've spoken to many of you on zoom in the last few weeks where you've said well you were growing up people asked you well who do you think you are like we're not this this family isn't like that. We're not fancy like that. Like if you had that kind of negative talk growing up or from people in your life, um, where do you struggle when it comes to giving and receiving compliments? And how can I, as your fashion friend, cheer you on so that you make that process, which is really kind of a part of life, um, simpler and, and, and less awkward and more gracious and more joyful. Um, I'm always here to support you in anything to do with style and confidence. I uh, love you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Love to hear your thoughts and comments about compliments below. And let's continue this conversation there. I will see you tomorrow morning on YouTube. Bye.